Hello everybody and here we are with another lesson. Um, we're going to be setting up a maths quiz uh, in today's lesson so I'm looking forward to working through this with you. First thing I want though is uh, I want to get rid of the cat because I'm going to use a different sprite so I'm going to click on the dustbin to get rid of the cat and we're going to choose a new sprite from choose a sprite and I'm going to look through and I like the look of this person here they're going to be my question master I'm just going to bring them down so there's enough room and let's have a backdrop so I'm going to choose a backdrop from down in the bottom corner and uh, they're going to be asking questions whilst stood in the Arctic. So it's going to be a cold maths quiz. So here we go then. We're going to start to do some coding for this particular sprite. Um, so I know it's this sprite I'm working on because the uh, blue surround is around it, which shows that's the one I'm coding at the moment. So first of all, we want to go to control. No, we don't. We want to go to events, uh, which is the yellow one, and then move when the green flag is clicked. And that's going to start off our quiz. Now, I want to ask a certain amount of questions at a time. So I'm going to um, use a loop, um, one that allows me to ask just a certain amount of questions before it moves on. So I'm going to use the repeat loop. And bring that in and drop it in under there and I'm just going to change that so I can check it works to three but a lot of these things are changeable within your game you can adjust them change them make them more difficult etc um, but just going to start off fairly simple and then you can um, adapt it as you go next thing we're going to need is we're going to need some variables so uh, variables are things that change things that can change like numbers so we're going to click on variables down at the bottom here and we're going to make a new variable. So I'm going to click on make a variable. And I'm going to call this variable number one. Just leave it for all sprites and then click OK. And now you can see up here I've got number one and it's got a zero next to it. I need another variable now because we're going to be we're going to start off by adding simple numbers together. I'm going to call this one number two. Um, you could call those different things, but it just uh, is something simple to start us off with. Right, so now you can see over here, here I've got number one and number two. And uh, you just have to be a bit careful, though, because where it says set my variable, if you click on the down there, I could change that to number one. So you need to make sure you're working with the correct variable. So uh, first thing we're going to do is we are going to set our numbers. So I'm going to bring set number one to zero at the moment. Then I'm going to change this to number two and set number two to zero. So if I clicked on the green flag, it would set both number one, and number two to zero. If I change that to two on the green flag, it will set number one to two. But we want these to randomize. Um, so we want to make them random numbers. So the next thing is we're going to go to the operators, which is the green. And you can see, brilliant, just for us, a pick random 1 to 10. I'm going to drop it in here. And some, sometimes people get in a bit of a tangle dropping it in. If you hover over and you see it's gone white now, it will now drop into that circle like so. So now, if I do the same for there, when I click on the green flag, it will very quickly three times because we've told it to do it three times it will change it to a random number okay so that's good good but first of all we've got our numbers that change but we haven't got any other things going on so let's get our character to um ask a question so he is going to go to sensing, which is the light blue one. And it says, ask, what's your name and wait? Except we're not going to ask, what's your name? We're going to say, what is number one 
added to number two question mark so what is number one added to number two so if you are good with your maths you'll realize that 10 adds to seven the answer would be 17. so now if i click it asks the question so it's going through it's set this number then it's set that number then it's asked the question and then it's stopped because it's waiting because we've asked it to wait so we have one plus seven the answer is eight and i press enter and then it asks the question again and you can see it's changed so now we've got a random so it's 16 and enter um right so we have got a working game the next thing we're going to do is try to get our um, program to recognize whether the number is correct or whether it's wrong and we'll do that in the next time so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next lesson